Let's talk about when it's time to just quit physical therapy. Hey guys, if you don't know me, my name's Tony Maritato, and I'm going to read a comment that came in in my Facebook group, Total Knee Replacement Support Group for Kind People. So a member said, hello, everyone. So I don't want to do formal PT anymore. I've been going for almost three months, and quite honestly, I can do all the exercises at home. I'm walking pretty fast. Bend and flex are good. Just downstairs or down hills are still a little slow going. Anyone just quit, my PT will disagree, but he hasn't added anything new in weeks. That's a great question. That is a great comment. I'm so glad you shared that. I can tell you right now, me as a physical therapist, my responsibility is to continuously progress what you are doing. If I have a patient that's coming in, whether it's their first day, their 24th day, or their 38th day, I should be progressing them the entire way. We should not waste a physical therapy session doing what they already know how to do and what they're already capable of doing. In this situation, yeah, I would tell you to quit. I would tell you to quit if you're still stuck on stairs and downhill. I would tell you to consider finding another physical therapy. I've been on both sides of this equation. I've been the therapist that runs out of ideas. I know it's hard to believe, but I've been that person. And what I typically do is I make a recommendation to say, hey, we've done everything. You've done everything, Mr. Patient. I'm going to recommend you go see this other specialist that might have a different perspective, might bring new information, might see things through a different lens. That's totally reasonable. And I can't imagine a single therapist that would get upset if you said, hey, I haven't made any major gains. I'm going to go in a different direction. But the bottom line is mentally, probably emotionally, you've already quit. So to continue to waste your time and your insurance dollars seeing somebody that's not getting you what you feel like you need, it's, it's, you shouldn't do it. So I'm 100% behind somebody either completely quitting and continuing to do your own thing or going a different direction, finding a different therapist, getting an evaluation specifically for stairs and or downhill ambulation because that is the next phase that you need to move on to. So guys, if you have questions, absolutely feel free to join the group. It is a completely free group. There's a ton of amazing members. We would love to have you.